After calls went unanswered for numerous years, the government of Guyana budged slightly and in June 2018 released a draft. Kudos must be given for effort, but the perusal of the document sees a lack in depth in dealing with the core issues of helping young athletes maintain an acceptable world standard for competition. It means while the rest of the world motors away for the caretaking of athletes, transitioning them from junior to senior and developing facilities to enhance abilities, Guyana is still in park mode. With 2019 being a pivotal year for Olympic hopefuls, President of the Guyana Boxing Association, Steve Ninval, has renewed calls for the policy's implementation, stating it is urgently needed. The sports policy has to be implemented. That is all I would say about the sports policy. Um, I think it is too long. Um, we have been, all the associations and all the sports fraternities have been clamoring for that, and I think it's too long. Ninval illustrated that while a country like Guyana has the cream of the crop in amateur boxers, they need exposure for enhancement, and it is issues like those a sports policy would address. Our backs are against the wall. And I think that sort of, 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 of focus and tenacity and determination that these boxers have without even having the proper gear at times, without even having the proper nutrition. So it says, and they understand it too, and they know that the fighting and them being the best that they can be would bring out better for them, and not only for them, for, but for the next generation of boxers. So when you see people like um, Kevin Alicock and Desmond Amsterdam, they're fighting on raw talent. They're fighting on raw talent. And look what they can achieve with raw talent. So when we start polishing up these guys, when we start having them training in high performance um, institutions and so forth, then we know what we can expect from them. Because we still expect a lot from them, having them uh, on, on just raw talent alone. But when we would have polished them up at high performances, uh, high performance institutions, then you know what to expect from them. Ninval was not the only association head who publicly voiced the need for the policy. Guyana Olympic Association head K.A. Human Yasin has also made it clear that he wants to see a policy implemented soonest. For the newsroom, Akim Green.